count to one. What? You count to one. He seems surprised. I don't know. Is that what they teach you at the school? Huh? Can you count to two, Isaiah? One, two. Good. Can you count to three? One, two, three. Can you count to four? One, two, three. Where is it? One, two, four. <laughs> pretty good. But the thing is, in music, we don't go one, two, three, four. We go one, two, three, four. But that's okay. It's all good. I want you to go. See if you can do that. That's four. Cool. And just because my drum has a sign on it, I will introduce it. It's a June June. Ooh, the sign broke. The sign has been out here for 15 years. It just broke today. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's called a June June because it says June June. Now, Isaiah, there's a couple of sounds that you're going to be creating in our story. There's a bunch of sounds you guys are going to create too, so just hang on a second. One of the sounds is going to be like thunder. sound is? Nope. Good try though. The ominous sound, think of Jurassic Park, the original first one. There's a fence. The fence, shh, the fence is broken. Behind the fence, before it was broken, before they turned the electricity off, there was a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And you hear, you almost don't hear this, but you, they, the camera goes to a puddle. And in the puddle, the water goes. That's the ominous sound. So, Isaiah, you're going to do the ominous sound. It's like a little heartbeat. One, two. It's actually one and two. One and two. So, I'm scared. I'm scared right now. <laughs> Be brave, I say. You can do this. You can do this. I believe in you. All right. So those are your. Those are a couple of your sounds. You got the thunder. We got. So you're gonna need two for the thunder, but you only need one for the ominous thunder. Okay. So now you got that set. You guys out here. I'm gonna tell you what you need to do when you need to do it. I, I, we don't have to rehearse it. So. <coughs> This is a Native American story from the Southwest. It's a trickster tale. Actually, a lot of the stories today are trickster tales, as well as about ice cream and swimming pools. But today, we go to the Southwest, where there are no trees on the hills. It's just rocks and cactus. And Coyote was walking down the trail. Move the tape the tape And you heard a beautiful sound. The sound was cicada. You know what a cicada is? Yeah. In August, you hear them in the trees. It's like... Yeah. You ever heard that? Yes. <laughs> cicada was singing on a low branch of a pinyon pine tree. And Coyote was like, oh, that sounds really good. I would like to sing like that. Hey, Cicada, teach me how to sing like that. And Cicada said, no. It's my song, Coyote. Sing your own song. Oh, come on, Cicada, teach me a song. <sighs> OK. OK, I think I got it. <laughs> yeah, you got it, said Cicada. Now go away. All right. Walking down the trail. Walking down the trail. When, what did he almost step on? Rattlesnake. Can you all make a rattlesnake sound? Right? I want to hear the rattlesnake sound. And then a hiss. Give me some hiss. Coyotes stood back! Because even coyotes know you don't mess around with a rattlesnake. And he 
got out of the way and he started down the trail in a different direction. He was like, oh, what was I doing? I was singing cicada song and how does that go? <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> no. You know what? I'll just go back and I'll ask Cicada to teach me the song. So Cicada goes back. Do, 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 do. Hey Cicada, I forgot your song. Could you sing me again? Sing it to me again. But Cicada's like, Coyote, you're such a pest. I don't want to. I'm an artist. It's not my contract. Oh, come on! If you don't teach me to sing it, I will eat you for lunch because I'm starting to get hungry with all this work I've been doing. Uh, okay, coyote. By the way, this is overtone singing from Central Asia. And uh, if you want to learn how to do this, sing the word hero really slowly in the shower the next time you take a shower. So let's try it right here. I'm actually singing more than one note at a time. But anyway, had, we have to work some education in here as, as we're having fun. Okay, now, so Kyrie's like, okay, I got it. So he headed down the trail again. And as he goes down the trail, he wasn't really paying attention that there was quiet, soft, distant thunder. And then it stopped. And then it started again. You know how thunder is, you know? You'll hear it a little bit. The coyote wasn't thinking. Without him knowing it, the thunder got a little louder. You go more towards the middle of the drum. There you go. Yeah, there's nice The coyote's like, oh, what's going on? And then it started to rain. Now, you guys are going to be the rain. And the rain first starts like this. If you can't snap, just do this. And then it's harder. And then there's hail, and you can pound your feet as well as you can go larger size. Some of them live 17 years. Did you know that? There's a bug that's older than you guys. Pretty cool. Anyway, puff himself up, 
split his skin, he steps out of his skin, and he gets a little sap from the pinyon pine, and he gets a rock, a little rock. He puts it in his skin, and he seals it up, and he sets his skin with a rock in it on the branch of that pinyon pine, and he goes down the tree into his hole in the ground. Now, meanwhile, Coyote's walking along, and he was getting hungrier and hungrier and hungry, and he was thinking, you know what? I think I'll just go back and eat cicada. It's not much of a lunch, but I, I hear, you know, they're pretty crunchy and tasty and delicious, so I don't quite try that. And he's thinking this, and all of a sudden he caught the distinct smell of chicken. Oh, he was like, chicken tastes just like rattlesnake. Mmm, chicken. And he came up, there was a fence. Now, Coyote was a coyote, so he couldn't read the sign that said, warning, stay out, secret government test facility. He didn't know. He did not know that they were testing, combining the genes of a chicken with the genes of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Notice the Jurassic Park theme running through the program. That's called a theme. <laughs> He smelled chicken, but he didn't know that over the hill, on the other side of the fence, were very interesting chickens indeed. They were Tyrannosaurus chickens. But he found a little hole, and he managed to squeeze through the little hole, and he's following his nose to the smell of the most chicken he's ever smelled. And he comes over the hill, and... Now, I need you guys to make the sound of a Tyrannosaurus chicken. I have no idea what they sound like, so... I think we need other sounds right now. Coyote stopped. And then the chicken stopped. And there was one of those moments when the chickens looked at the coyote, and the coyote looked at the chickens. Well, actually, coyote looked at the chickens. <laughs> and the chickens looked at the coyote, and the chickens were like, mmm, coyote. Yummy! And they began running, and I need some, uh, uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyrannosaurus running sound. Like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus running. And he came towards him, and he was like, blah, 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 blah. and he turned around, and he ran as fast as he could, and he dove under that hole in the fence, and he, he lost a lot of the hair on his back, but when, it was kind of cool looking. But he was And the Tyrannosaurus chickens came up, and the coyote stripped himself off, scratch himself. You know how dogs do that? You touch them here and the leg goes. You know, now, what was I doing? Oh, I was singing Cicada's song. You know what? I'm just going to go back and I'm going to have Cicada for lunch <laughs> after he teaches me to sing the song. <laughs> he goes back. Oh, Cicada! Cicada, teach me your song. Cicada was just sitting on a tree quietly. Oh, come on, Cicada, teach me your song. Not a sound. You know, Cicada, I've had a hard day. I've almost gotten bit by a rattlesnake, almost got drowned in a, in a thunderstorm, flash flood, I almost got eaten by Tyrannosaurus chickens, and I'm hungry, and I want you to sing to me so I can sing the song, or I'm just going to eat you. Come on, Cicada! And so Coyote backed up farther and farther, because he knew he had to jump to get up to that branch. And so he took a leap. And with his beautiful, perfectly straight white teeth, he crunched down on Cicada's empty shell with that rock in it. Oh. And a couple of things happened. His teeth shattered into sharp, pointy teeth, which is why coyotes have sharp, pointy teeth. But the second thing that happened is it hurt so much that right then and there, he wrote his own song. Oh! Day. I don't know if you've heard them around here. Have you heard coyotes at night? Howling at the moon? To this day, coyotes have sharp teeth and they sing their own song. Let's hear some coyote out here. <sighs> and to this day, cicadas shed their skin. And if you look carefully around the bottoms of trees in late summer, usually late July, August, you can find cicada skins even around here. So that is the story of Coyote and Cicada. Law, oh, give me some drum roll over here, I say. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, have a seat. <laughs>